Hello, Kyle from The Wandering Shores. I thought I might do a quick video review of the Pipeline Road Dispersed Camping in Marana, Arizona. I haven't seen any good video reviews, so we're here and I figured I'd go ahead and do one. So real quick, um, below I'm going to put a specific GPS point. It's probably different than the one that is listed for campsites.net or freecampsites.net or Campendium. But what that point is gonna be, it's gonna be for that point right in the road, right there. Because the actual GPS point takes you back down the road, but this entrance is very difficult to see if you're going down the road. Uh, we drove past it twice already, um, you know, coming to and from. So I uh, just wanted to come and show you this. So we are coming, that direction back there is the, is the west on Avra Road. So we're coming west on Avra Road. And as you're going down, you'll see the mountains in the four in the forefront here and then you're gonna see right off to the chute here is a small dirt road but if you're coming down that road at any clip you're gonna have a hard time seeing that but yes this is pipeline road and right here at the entrance you're gonna have a ton of spaces that are very easy obviously they're extremely close to the road um, but there's plenty of space for some very big rigs um, you can see here with some of the dirt where people have turned around and parked and etc. So this goes on for quite a long time. Um, we're not going to do the whole part, but it'll give you an idea of some of the space here in the first quarter mile through uh, to a half a mile. So you probably wanted to pause that just to see the rules. It's got a 14 day stay limit and we're about 20 miles outside of the west entrance to Saguaro National Park. Park. So um, it's very convenient. Tucson's not too far away, probably about 35 minutes. And uh, Marana, Arizona is probably about 25 minutes away. So every, you got everything there. Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply if you need to get propane plenty of options for gas. So let me go back to the review. So only probably, you know, 100 yards in off the road or less, you're going to have a uh, the pull through site right there. It's got a little um, camping or uh, stone fire pit. So there's lots of options there. As you come back, it gets a little more rooty and rocky. So uh, you got to keep your eye out here. There's a couple places that you might want to kind of go around when you are um, out here. Again, there's a spot here on the right. Nice, convenient spot. One of the things is you're gonna get quite a bit of wind coming through here, but a lot of this shrubbery and brush can really help um, knock that down. So uh, that makes it convenient. Okay, right here after that first main one, this is the area that if you've got any real low clearance, you're gonna to wanna to go to the right. You can see these ruts right here. But over here to the right is where you're gonna to wanna to go through. It just circles around this real choppy area. For those of you heading out this direction, maybe to go to the National Park, um, we had originally stopped by Snyder Hill, which is down just west of Tucson, a little bit south of the park. But that place was busy, and unfortunately, people are slobs. They've dumped trash everywhere. There's broken glass everywhere. It just didn't feel like a very safe environment. 
So I figured let's drive a little bit more north. It was about 40 minutes from there to get up here and completely different experience. Um, we've been here now for three days and there's not been another single soul until late last night. Um, another vehicle came through and it is the middle of April 2021 for a reference point on when it is. So there's a spot right here you could back into or pull through, give you plenty of uh, space. There's a lot of flat gra ground out here, so getting level will not be an issue. Plenty good for big rigs. Okay, we're coming up to the first junction, really, where you can take an offshoot. In this case, you can go left, and there's quite a few parking spots back there. We're actually camped back there, so about you'll see us when we when we get up here. But there's at least seven or eight different very flat spots back there. Several of them with fire pits. There's our camper back there. There's a spot right here. There's another spot right here with some fire pit. Again, huge site, plenty of room for big rigs. This site here. We're now probably about a third of a mile in. Huge area. If you're camping with buddies, plenty of space out here. You could probably, probably park seven or eight rigs just in this area here, and it's really flat. There's a couple little offshoots over there to the right as well. Another little side chute road right here to the right. Several spots back there if you're looking for a place. Now, one of the things I've learned over the last couple nights that we've been here is that where we were at back there in the, uh, the white travel trailer, 28 foot just for point of reference on how big we are, um, you can hear some of the road noise, but it's not real bad. We also must be in the flight path for the airport or the helicopters because we've heard a couple of helicopters flying pretty low. Could be an isolated incident, might be Air Force and military related too. Over here, a nice basically pull through site with a fire ring and a couple offshoots back there. And basically you just continue on. It goes for probably about another quarter mile. And then there's a sign that appears to indicate no motorized traffic. I'm not sure if that's more for not wanting people to um, drive four wheelers and stuff off road back there, but I'm not 100% sure how far the dispersed camping goes. Found a marshmallow stick. Probably not going to use it, but I'll get it out of here because it's trash. So, hope this campground review was helpful for you guys. All is good out here. It's beautiful. Plenty of green. There are the saguaro cactuses, obviously. But uh, 
it's it's really really gorgeous hope this helps thanks guys